Yo, dear, how are you doing today, man? What year is this? Are we in the future right now? I love me some cyberpunk. Yeah, you're in a cyberpunk mood too? Yeah, cool. What the hell is that? The hell did DHL bring to us today, man? The sound, did you guys hear that sound? Why is that to bring a forklift every time? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Break Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. Hi, you're watching BMUS Beamers. Today is actually pretty exciting because we got some new sets, new arrivals. There's actually like, it's overwhelming, you guys. I'm going to start actually doing store updates with Chris pretty soon. There's just too much stuff to handle. You guys have been super supportive. A lot of orders we're sending out. Thank you so much for all your support. And I love it when brands come out with new sets that are original, just like the one we're looking at here on the table. I'm like, yo, this is freaking cool, Chris. I got to build it like right away and review it for you guys as fast as I can. This is a brand that you are familiar with. Well, it's still pretty new, but if you haven't watched my last review of Brick Cool, go watch it. That's like some Chinese vampire sets. So a lot of you probably aren't into that theme, but I know a lot of you will probably be, be into this theme. And there's about four of them. But let me show you these ones first, okay? So we're gonna do this in pairs. This video will be two. If you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I'll get the other two to review for you guys as fast as possible. All right, so we're gonna choose this one first. What are we looking at, Chris? Let's do this. So what we're gonna look at first is this from Brick Cool. They call it Cyber Street Corner, the series. I'm just gonna call it Cyberpunk Street Corner. This one is the Sushi Shop. KS002, 661 pieces. Finally, we're getting like a cyberpunk theme sets and even the box here actually looks really good. I'm all for this, man. I think this is really cool, but they call it Cyber Street Corner, but we all know cyberpunk style, man. So if you're a fan of like cyberpunk or food stalls, but you want it a little bit more modernized, this is it. Now flip it here to the back. Kind of give you guys an idea of the design layout. Yeah, very nice, I like it. Can we send the set with the box? We can, it'll cost you a little bit more. This one's not so big, but the other set is a little bit bigger. There's nothing inside, it's empty! There was an inner thing inside, maybe we'll see it in the other set. I'll show you the other box later. Yeah, Chris, you're so fast now. Actually, it's really good, I like the look. It does have that neon style, great. And the back here shows four, that have been released. Look, I just realized the bottom four are not yet out. Oh no. Oh, I'm getting those for sure, man. So I got the top four. We're looking at the sushi shop here. If I open the page, show you how simple it is. That's easy to read. You guys will have no problem doing it. There might be a little bit of color or like it says on the back, colors may vary differently. So some of the brick colors might look a little different on the color from the book to the real life thing. It's so small, man, you can figure it out. So all these sets come with figures. Here's the two that come with this one. Now, they changed it up. I did not put the arms on the girl because I wanted to show you guys, and I'll show you close-ups. Chris, we're gonna show the close-up of these guys, of how it works. But it has a piece here that goes inside the arm, like a puzzle, like a little jigsaw puzzle. You just gotta slot it in. It can only go in one way. And then you put the arms in and then they can articulate like, yeah, they're kind of like a little bit like Ding Bao. You know, later on, we'll pull them all out and you can see a comparison. Okay, I'll show you guys. And the coolest thing too is they include all these hands, fingers. We actually sell these separately. These are available and all these sets that you see are available. I'll break me up, Scotty.com. But the fingers were the coolest things ever. And because they're custom, they're a little bit pricier. But hey, man, these ones come with the set. You got the middle finger, you got like a peace sign, rock sign, thumbs up. These are really cool, man. So I like this. I'm already liking this without even the set being seen yet. For the size here, yeah, these are really small, but these are great. They go along with the symbol block stalls, I think. I think they look fantastic. They'll look great in your city. It packs a lot of detail. We look on the front here. The other thing really cool is each set comes with a brick light. We might have to take the batteries out. I hope they can come out, but it's used very differently. See here, it's got a little plastic tube. If you push it in far enough, and when you line it all up, the light travels through the tube. So later on, we'll turn off all the lights and you can see how that works. But that was an awesome touch and that actually brings out the whole neon cyberpunk look to it. Actually, the whole thing was 
pretty amazing to put together. I was like, yo, every little item that I was putting on together was like, this is so different from other things. So that's why I'm like super excited. I'm like, yeah, when I see things like this, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels like it has some class to it. Brick quality is pretty okay. It's part of D cool. So it's not perfect, a little bit tight in some spots, but hey, I can't complain about that. The floors are all tiled. Yay, got some patterns there. They have some studs, the characters can hang out. This one is a little bit open on the front there. The rooftop can come off. It might take a little piece of this vent off. No stickers, all prints. Yes, that's what we're talking about. And I love some of these that are on the see-through tiles. It just stands out so much more. You got a street sign here, which is the part of the light, and I'll show you how that works in a second. And I don't even know what these switches are. There's gonna be like a lot of little switches and things that stick out. It's just like the greebling or the detail to bring out this cyberpunk feel. You got like a little street crazy lamp thing in the corner. A camera on the top to spy on you. I'm not quite sure what this thing is supposed to be. A teacup? It's supposed to be, this is a sushi shop. I don't see any sushi, but and I kind of wish they had something else here or something more neon there, but that's just nitpicking. I'll flip it to the side here. Yo, they use binoculars for pipes. Super creative, man. I'm like, I don't know what I'm really looking at. Like maybe these are machines and vents, but it's all different. Even every set was like fun to put together. We come to the back here. I guess this is the vent for the smoke to come down. It's like a giant question mark. That's pretty cool, but it is attached to the rooftop. So when you take the rooftop, this part is probably gonna go off with it, minor thing. But hey, the good thing is you can still take this thing off and play with the inside. Got trash can, more binoculars. They put roller skates here. I'm not sure why, but those are roller skates for figures, right? So I go here, go wee -hee. Ah, my favorite part. You got some boxes here on the side. Oh, there's another little camera here. Buy on you on the backside. But this is like a little drink machine. That was actually pretty fun to put together. You open it up. There are some drinks on the inside and along the back as well. Yeah, I like that. Oh, Scotty, what's inside? What's for drinks? I need some drinks. Give me some better. Let's get drunk. Dear, it's only sodas inside. Yo, I like how they did the buttons on the bottom though. It was like rubber piece slotted. That was actually pretty interesting. And I like it, the blue. It's totally different from everything else. The colors are so cool. That's pretty much it for the outside. So the rooftop, you know, again, we're gonna try to take this off. It'll probably bring this back piece off. It locks in on only one side. Hey, look at that underneath. So we can see that there. That was cool, man. It's like, it doesn't light up or anything. It's just like a fake light, but that was a nice touch. And then if I slide this back here, you can see, uh, you can't really get your hands in there still. It's still a little bit tight. The back wall is a separate piece that slaps into there. And I like that wooden look. There's some printed tiles along the back. It's a schedule for today for gras sushi, liver sushi. That's actually pretty good. Shrimp sushi, Arctic sushi, and regular sushi, and some bitter and sake. Now on the right side of that, you got a little food counter there. I think the table is like the loosest thing because it's kind of going against the wall. If you push on it, it will collapse. Careful, got a little bit printed tile. Thank you, Chris, for the translation. He said that piece just says it's hot. And on the wall, there's another printed piece. It has little bits of lines that make it look cyberpunky. Shrimp sushi. That shrimp looks very comfortable sitting on that rice. And finally, you got the cash register here. I like how they use that piece for like the order information uh, and a piece of glass there. And there is a stud inside, so your character can stand inside without falling out. So I like how they actually scattered a couple studs here, but they will fall off those stools. The stools look really nice. We can't forget about the sign that's holding up the pipes. Yeah, I like that Japanese products with the printed chopsticks. And looks like a dim sum bowl right there, but that's a really nice touch to this whole thing. When you press down on here, the brick light will turn on, but in order for it to hold there, you're supposed to take this piece, turn it to the side here first. You press down and then you rotate it. And when you rotate it, it'll stay on. And if you have the pipe in all the way, it will travel along this line and the color should stay like that. Chris, do you mind turning off all the lights so we can see this, how cool this is. It's not super bright, but it's still pretty cool. There we go, look at that. Yeah, multicolor. You know what though? I'm fine with this. I kind of wish more sets would use it this way. You don't have to put so much wiring inside. And this just looks refreshing. It's totally unique, new. I've never seen this before. 
I love it, man, especially when you put them all together. It's probably a little bit dark on camera, but I think it'll look great when it's all set up with all the other sets. It'll look very cool. Okay, Chris, thank you so much for that. Ah, oh, and that is the sushi shop for you guys. So here's the figure for the sushi set, just to show you guys. Since I'm right here, here's my hand, you can see me. Hey, what's up, Chris, how you doing? So they have articulated arms, which is amazing. We've seen that before in Zing Bao, but it's nice to see it done very differently here. But just while I'm here, look at the detail on him. Jacket, looks amazing. I love his face, the mohawk look, and even the backside here, if I turn it to the back, it has some nice printing there. That's very cool. Even the sleeves, yo, the sleeves look really good. And his, his shoes, he has shoes on. That's very cool. Here's the lady, you know, again, the printing, she looks really good. I like the colors. I'll do a quick rotation with my nasty hands to show you. The hole is actually a lot bigger than standard L's one, so it is very different. If I pull her hair off, show you the back there, got some detail to it. And let me show you guys this piece here. So this piece is something I've never seen before. So it can only go in one way. If you try to push it in, it won't really fit. You have to flip it around the other way and try to stick it in here, there, see? It will only go in, and when you push it in, it goes like that. So you just get the arm and push it right there. It goes in really easy, man. So, so nice. So nice and easy to stick in there. And there you go. I wonder how you take these things off. If you take her arm off, so there, pull it here. Dude, I don't think you can get these things out now, man. I didn't think about that. Now, right now, I can't take this thing back out. I think you have to use a pair of tweezers to like squeeze on the inside to slide them out. But I already checked, this will not work with big L figures and vice versa. The torsos will fit. So if I took this guy, who is from big L, took him off there and put her body on here, that'll fit. But if I do it this way, i put this guy. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, it won't fit. Oh, it won't fit. It's not fitting on there. It won't fit. And for sure, the arms won't fit on here because it's like... Ah, and it's really small. I mean, the, this this piece right here is, won't fit. The hole is too big. It'll just fall out. So they won't work with each other. There you go. Now we're looking at Brick Cool Cyberpunk style Cyber Street Corner. The Chinese Cuisine KS003. 1,318 pieces. Here is the box. Awesome box again. I love it. Actually, you need kind of like this blue background for these sets to really stand out, right? You need more lights or neon stuff. Without them, they look a little bit plain, but that's fine, man. I'm so happy we got some cool stuff coming on the store. There's the back for you. Very nice. And let me check if this one has the inner layer part. Yeah, I don't even know if this is based on anything. Oh, there's the other one. It has like these little fold out thingies, you know. These are going straight in the trash. Sorry guys. No, keep the boxes, Scott. Don't throw them away. Keep them for me. All right, I'll hang on to these for a little bit longer. These are the other ones that I will build for later. If you subscribe to my channel, Jay Scotty, please review the rest of them. This one is, what is this? This one is a coffee shop, and this one is a pharmacy, is it? Yeah, this one's a pharmacy. There you go. I'm not gonna show you the back of these ones. You're gonna have to wait for the video. Or you can probably just find the pictures online. But there you go. Total four right now, and four more will release soon, I hope. Brick cool. Man, we need to see some giant size modulars. But this is good enough for now. Bam. Just to show you the manual real quick, it's just like the other ones, a little bit bigger. It looks totally fine. I love it. Here's a perfect example of how you, they tell you how to put the arm pieces in for the figures. Don't look at the picture, man. Just, just kind of like put it in one way and twist it. If it doesn't work, put it in the other way. It's much easier. I, I get confused looking at the photo. Other than that, pages all look totally fine. So this is the Chinese cuisine. I absolutely, love building both of them. If we put them side by side there, just to show you, they look great together. The trickiest part is this rooftop piece. It's kind of got that diner vibe, right? But when you're slapping it all together, pieces might come out. 
Also, the pipe is a little bit tricky, but thank goodness, even if you make a mistake, you want to take the pipe, throw this plastic piece out and, re and readjust things around. It's not that difficult. Just make sure it's pushed in all the way so that the light can travel through this thing. This one comes with two brick lights, so it's bigger, double, and four figures. We'll look at the figures later. I love the colors. I love the vibe. It's all tiled again on the front and the inside, all that good stuff. It kind of reminds me of the Naruto noodle joint because it's like kind of got that openness style. I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna get this in like do your stop motion, set the scene up and get those nice photographs. It's just like the movies, like Blade Runner, right? Hanging out there, chilling, eating some noodles. So right away, to show you, here is one of the brick lights that's hidden behind the sign, which is great. And the other brick light is actually on the rooftop piece here, which we'll look at later. All printed there. It says noodles and cold drinks in the open counter. And there's another printed tile there on the side that says cutlery, which is like the fork and knives. And you got all these spare foods that they come with. But you got like fish, carrots, chicken and pie. Looks like some desserts. Got some cups and extra plates. And I like how it curves around the corner. It says Chinese room across the top. I don't know why Chinese room. I would have preferred like Chinese restaurant or cuisine. Chinese room sounds like a massage place. Chris, where are we going after lunch? We're going to the Chinese room. Well, at least over here, it says noodle restaurant. That's better. They had more binoculars here as the poles. So they kept it consistent with the other one. So some of the details look kind of the same. And then along the top here, I'm not quite sure what these are. Television screens? I'm going to take away order. Oh, order. take away. Yeah, There's your order here, take yeah, away. Yeah. Oh yeah, because this looks like a takeaway yeah, counter yeah. right there, right? You got a hot dog there, and you got another print there with the that says porridge. Lots of food with this set. There's a little design thing here. I'm not quite sure what that is. Maybe that's another, another takeout, like billboard type thingy. That was actually pretty cool. And you got this really cool plant. I like that. Got a little bit of green right there, right? And we flip to the side here or the back. I don't know what this is, like a, a, another two types of vents or where the steam comes out. This is actually really cool. It's like so easy to put together. This, however, is kind of attached to the rooftop. So when you're gonna pull off the rooftop, be very careful for this piece. And look, Chris's favorite little mouse right there, a little rat. Have to have the rat. Then we cover this side. Look at that, a lot of things going on here. It's like, oh, that's pretty cool, right? Pipe hanging out here. I don't know where that attaches to. Two more pipes. Here, it looks like you have some spotlights back here. Yeah, these are spotlights there. The trash can, rainbow colors going on there. You got some vents here, more little pipes, fire extinguisher down here. And that's awesome, man. You know, I really like this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this rooftop piece. There's only one point of contact on this side. It's kind of like this one where it's like one contact there and then you pull up the vent. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We'll take this part off there. We'll lift it to the front. Comes off very easy. There's the plastic tube there, and it kind of goes all the way around here. Then we come here into the kitchen area. It's all open, it's all tiled inside, yes. Lots of little studs to put your characters in there. I absolutely love this kitchen, man. I think this is actually really good. Even if you don't want the cyberpunk look, it still looks like a normal kitchen. You got the stove there. I think those are like bicycle tires. Yeah, I don't know, I've never, I'm not really familiar with those pieces. It looks totally like a stove. It doesn't open or anything. Looks great, and I like the vent on the top. That's like so futuristic looking. You got some drawers down below, and then we come to the back here, and you got another, it looks like another stove. Some frying pans, the sink, some drinks. Very unique how you put those all together, and then you put them inside so they can come out. And there's a printed tile there. Danger! A burns! Do not touch! That's funny. Back wall, you got a cutting board, some tools, utensils, and I like how you build a shelf down below. You have some loose pieces in there, but once they're in there and they're closed off, you can't take them out, but it's just a nice little illusion. And in the corner there, I guess that's the chef's belonging. Bag, briefcase, umbrella, and then the only other thing here is a little box and a bucket on the floor. That's more or less it for you guys. It's actually really cool, I like this. And then the rooftop, I mean, it doesn't have like crazy amount of things. It's got antennas here, and you got part of the vent here, and you got like these, I guess these are more like little chimney things that are sticking out. I love the sign part here. It says, Gong Guao Kai. I'm not saying that right. Even Chris is like, I don't know, this, I don't know what that means. I like how it like kind of fixed in an angle there. It actually, when you build it, it pops up off out of it. Yeah, see, it's like that. The pipe's all tight right now, so 
you'll pop it down there and then you'll like free the pipes through. It's not that difficult to put on, it's pretty secure. It is on multiple plates though, so it can, you know, flex off pretty easy, but it's holding in there. And I like the addition here. These don't light up or anything. But that's so cool, man. I guess you could put your own light there. Oh, I'm happy with that, man. This thing is so cool. Right, dear? Yeah, right, Scotty, that's a beautiful set. But that rat is nasty. Get that thing out of here. Shoot, go away. Now we're gonna do the same thing. I'm going to turn on the lights. This one is actually done quite differently. So before Chris turns off, before you turn off the light, let show you this, this is like a very simple Technic piece. You're supposed to stick it into the light brick and give it to me, baby, like that. And then you turn it and it'll stay on. So same deal on the top one here. Stick it in, turn it, it should stay on. Let's go ahead and turn off all the lights. Yes, they're all on. There you go, whoa, look at that. Ooh. You know, you can still see these pretty good with the light on like dimly in your home, I did. But it's just to show you on camera, it's actually easier to see it in, in the dark there. Ooh, that looks so cool, man. The top one could probably be stuck in a little bit more, but it's not as strong. I love that concept though, like the idea that the light can kind of travel through these plastic pipes. Let's see if I can turn on this one for ya. Can you imagine having eight of these all lit up? That's crazy, man. All right, Chris, thank you so much. Let's turn on the lights and let's look at the figures. Oh, Chris just wants me to show you guys with a little bit of light on that. You can definitely still see it. And even this one here, I slide this one back. That's so nice, man. You know what's really good too? It's like super clean looking. It doesn't feel like, oh, I have all these wires like chunking up the set. It looks like it's part of the set. That's great. Let's start with the ladies first. Dude, I love the faces. Again, just like the other sets. They got markings on their cheeks and stuff. They look like they are, maybe these are not humans. Maybe these are AI robots. She looks so cool. I love the fact the printing goes through the legs, the chain right there. A lot of detail on the jacket and the arms. Holy schmoly. And her back. Yo, Chris, her back looks really good. It's got like an evil looking thing on the back. Now this lady, she, I, she looks kind of like a cop. She's got this futuristic look too, but I like the blue and the, 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 the outfit that she's wearing and same deal, kind of like goes over the leg. And that's nice, man. I love the back. The back looks like she has an extra spine. And now we'll come to the guys. Chris decided he wanted to use the fingers to show you guys. This guy's rocking it out with a middle finger. Yeah, he looks like a punk. He's got like a metallic beard. That's pretty cool. I like his jacket and a t-shirt on the inside and he really looks like he's wearing shoes oh, dude the shoelaces go all the way up the legs cotton for shoes man even has a star on the side and the back is just kind of the same design as the other ladies finally you got this guy here the punk rocker the leader with his necklace with the cross on it mohawk style i like the pattern on his face and the back it looks like he had some weapons hanging there with a girl these are so unique I don't want to give these away. I want to keep these for myself. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep these guys. These guys are so cool. Okay, it's dimension time. Let's get your base plate. Your 32 by 32. We're going to start with the sushi set. Sushi set first. I will put this smack dab right somewhere. Oh, look, the light thing is like bouncing around. Make sure this thing is tight down here. It is 18 by 16. So it's cool, man. You can put this like somewhere and then build all around it. Now these are on several plates. These are not like on a fixed single plate. Yeah, there's a lot of little plates right there. Same deal with the big one. Let's break out your height bricks, your one by four bricks and check the height for this. I got mine here, we'll stack it behind here. But right there, look at that. 13 bricks in height. Perfect for your brick city. Go buy yours now. Sorry, I'm making you break out your wallets, man. It's time to get these, these are just too cool. Okay, so now for the Chinese room, for the Chinese cuisine. Ooh, almost takes up the whole 32 right there. That is around 30 studs by 22 studs on this side there. Perfect, man, perfect. Now let's check the heights. Break out your one by four bricks. And it's actually the same as the other one. It is around roughly 13 bricks in height from there. Be taller if you put the antenna there. But you know, if you don't have space, just take these off, put them on the side, you'll be fine. Ah, we are done with this video. 
I'm sorry it's taking me longer to get videos out to you guys. A little bit busy for the holidays. Anyway, you know what this means? It's time to drop these guys. If you don't like this part, skip it. Wait for the next video. If you like me dropping these guys, then here we go. That's more like it. Two together one time. This one kind of went crazy. This one stayed intact. Let's see here. Part of the rooftop came off. It's easy to put back together here. Oh, it looks like I'm missing something here. What was on this part? I forgot already. Oh, the sign. The back pipe thing came off there. Not too bad. Yeah, it's one trash can. That's it, done. Ooh, this one is okay. The other one. Yeah, I'm sure like all the small pieces flew off. The rooftop came off, which is just normal. Just the chicken, carrots, fish, ice cream, everything else is super solid on the inside. Just a trash can lid here. Hey man, I'm super happy with that. And we're done, yes. So there you guys go, from Brick Cool. I'm super excited about these. I'm so glad I can just review it for you. It's nice and small. Don't forget these are available on my store, brickmeupscotty.com. Thank you so much for all your support. Love your comments. Don't forget to subscribe, all that good stuff. Ring that notification bell. I'll bring you guys more stuff, all right? It's time to go work on more videos. So until next time, bring me out. Where'd you go? I want you to review the sword. It's stuck on my back here. Ooh, Demon Slayer sword. I like it. Come on, Scotty. Hurry up with your reviews. I'm, I'm trying to like... No, I can't get it out. Yeah, it's like it goes inside and it goes... It's like, oh, stuck. You know what I mean. Right, dear? trying to be different but it sucks you can't get that piece out anymore it's just like me i'm stuck with you forever <laughs>